Dan, your critics, of which there are not a few, have accused you of saying consciousness is an illusion. But I think they mischaracterize what you mean by illusion. So what I want to do is give you a chance fully to explain in detail what you mean when you say consciousness is an illusion. Good. Um, yes, indeed. It's a common objection, even from very um, sophisticated fellow researchers uh, in cognitive science. They don't like the word illusion. Um, they like it. User interface is okay, but illusion is not. Um, but I think the idea of a user illusion, which a term I used in consciousness explained, is, is just about right. What at least young people today realize is that user illusions can be good. <laughs> they're, they're the best way to get at the truth of some things is to create oversimplified versions of them, uh, uh, such as the user illusion of the desktop uh, on your on your laptop, mm -hmm. or for that matter, the screen of your of your smartphone, these are user illusions. What's going on uh, backstage is much more complicated than what's happening on the screen. And aren't you lucky that you don't have to know those details? You can just uh, drag and drop and do all sorts of simple things that you're well equipped to do with these. Uh, systems that have been intelligently designed by systems engineers to make your task easy. Well, I say exactly the same thing has happened with consciousness and the designer in this case is natural selection, which has provided um, every species, every, every locomoting species, every animal species with uh, handy shortcut oversimplifications that draw their attention to the things that matter to them in terms that they can understand so they can deal with it. Now, the, the user illusion on your laptop is uh, formed of uh, little colored pixels on your LED screen. But of course, there's no uh, eye inside your brain. So the user illusion in your head doesn't have to be rendered in color or rendered uh, in pixels. It's just the uh, somewhat more abstract, but still simplified information laden set of signals that allow us to see at a glance, uh, notice at a glance what's going on. Uh, consciousness is for self-control. That's its main job. And in creatures as complicated as we are, we can think of so many different things. We have many more degrees of freedom than we can handle gracefully at a time. So it's, it's always a challenge and self-control is a bit of an art. There's no science to it. For a simpler animal, uh, self-control is much easier because there aren't that many things that they can notice. Uh, and it wouldn't do them much good if they could. Very few animals can notice their own noticings. There's some clever experiments where we can show animals responding to their own responses, noticing their own noticings. And these are very special cases because they give those species, those animals, powers that are lacking in simpler living agents. Uh, we can not only notice our noticings, we can notice our noticings of our noticings of our noticings and think about it and talk about it the way I'm talking to you now. And the uh, recursion goes on indefinitely. Uh, and that's what consciousness in a way has to be. There's no use representing something, call it a user illusion, call it a user interface, if there isn't some consumer of that representation. There has to be a system that can take in that signal, that information, and put it to some use. It may misuse it, it may misinterpret it, but if it, but if it can't respond to it, then 
that's just a wasted bit of information.